Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the concept of retentive timer. Before getting started, let us look at the symbol of retentive timer. If you carefully observe the symbol, you don't see quite significant difference with respect to on delay timer and off delay timer, isn't it? But with respect to the working of retentive timer, it is quite similar to on delay timer except with one feature that is the accumulated value as an added advantage in retentive timer. In order to understand that, let us look at the working. To study the working of retentive timer, we need to consider three important points. What are they? What happens when we energize the timer? What happens when we de-energize the timer? And what happens when we energize the timer again? Let us look at it case by case. Case 1. I am actually considering a typical example where an input is connected to the light load through a retentive timer which is represented as RTO over here. What I will be doing here is, I will be energizing it only for 3 seconds. But if you carefully observe, the preset value of the timer is for 6 seconds. I am doing it purposefully and I will tell you why. At the first place, I will be energizing the timer by pressing the push button switch in this particular fashion. Once the push button switch is pressed, the contact will get energized, the rung will get energized, the timer is energized. Once the timer is energized, it acts exactly similar to the on delay timer and the enable will go high instantly. Whereas the done bit doesn't go higher. It starts counting the time delay. So after 3 seconds, it will stop because I'll be de-energizing it now. And considering that as case 2, I'll be starting off from the point where we left. After 3 seconds, I will be de-energizing this by releasing the push button in this particular fashion. Once I release the push button switch, the contacts get de-energized, the rung gets de-energized, the timer gets de-energized, and the enable goes slow instantly. It is often understood that enable always follows the input, isn't it? And that is why it goes high to low and low to high depending upon the input conditions. Now what I'll be doing is, I will be energizing it again. So initially it was 3 seconds. Now when I energize it in this particular fashion, what happens? The contact gets energized, the run gets energized, the timer gets energized, and the enable goes high instantly. But one important point to be observed here is, the time delay does not start from zero. It starts from 4 because it had already stored the accumulated value as 3 and even if you power off and turn it on with respect to the timer, the timer will always count from the previously stored value. So it counts from 3 that is 4, 5, 6 and after 6 is done, the done bit will go high. And once the done bit is high, if you carefully observe the same address is used over here and that is why this also goes high. The run gets energized and consequently the current starts flowing to the load and the light gate starts glowing in this particular fashion. So point to remember here is, in case of on delay timer, if you turn it on and turn it off and again turn it on, it will start from zero. The accumulated value will not be stored. But in case of retentive timer, the accumulated value will continue from the previously stored value even if you turn it off. And that is why retentive timer plays a very important role in a lot of different applications. We will be looking at the applications by considering different examples, but for now, let us look at the timing diagram. Let us consider the input. According to our cases, initially the input was low and I energized it for a time duration and then de-energized it and again energized it. Considering the energization period to be equal to 3 seconds, I have represented it over here in this particular fashion. Now, as I have already mentioned in the previous cases with respect to on delay timer and off delay timer and also having explained it in the operation of retentive timer, the enable bit always follows the input. So blindly draw whatever is the input waveform for that. How does the accumulated value vary? This is one of the most important part and you have to start comparing this with on delay timer. So over here, if you carefully observe, once it is energized, it starts counting the accumulated value and once it reaches 3, again at this point, it does not count any further after 3 because the input again goes low. 
and that is why it will hold its value up till the point where the input goes high and consequently it will continue to count its value from where it had left previously and after six seconds what happens is that it goes to high state the reason is very simple because we have set the total time duration to be equal to six seconds so the accumulated value once it is equal to the preset value it will go to high state how does the done bit vary then done bit will be low up to the point where the accumulated value is equal to the preset value and once it is high consequently it goes to high state in this particular fashion this was exactly what we saw in the cases i hope this concept is clear so the only difference with respect to retentive timer is that it continues to hold the accumulated value even if you turn it off and then turn it on this is the working of retentive timer if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you